hello guys and welcome to android developer africa and in this video we're going to talk about the linear layout and how we can use it to build a beautiful uh, ui for our beautiful apps so let's move to android studio this is a, an application i just created and uh, as you can see a very simple application just with the main activity just one activity the main activity by default the layout is a constraint layout but we're going to change it because in this video we want to talk about linear layout so let me change it by highlighting here and typing in uh, linear layout that is it and android studio makes it easy for us to build a beautiful uh, layout by providing us with a ui rendering engine which comes with three modes the code mode, the split mode, and the design mode. The code mode where we just have the code, the split mode where we have both the XML code and the design, and the design mode where we just have just the UI. I prefer to use sometimes the split and sometimes the design mode. So this is our linear layout as, we, as you may have heard about it in my previous video. Linear layout is used to organize items either horizontally or vertically and to do that we use orientation keyword orientation keyword can take two values either the vertical or horizontal let's start with vertical that is it we've defined our leader layout to have a vertical orientation and then what next let's add a new uh, text view to our linear layout so i will move to a design mode and get a text view from here and add it to our linear layout as you can see this is our second text view this is the second text view you can see it from here second text view i may change the text to second text view right here is it and let's say we want to add another item to our linear layout let's say a button and this is the button as you can see the items are organized vertically because the orientation of a linear layout is a vertical orientation this is it this is the first uh, item second and third which is the button that is it and if we want this item to be um, horizontal we just change the orientation from vertical to horizontal now what can we do we can add some space we can add some space between the items by using what we call the margin the margin top let's say margin top of 10 zp and you'll see it and you can see from here you can see here that uh, you can see from here that a space is created between the first and the parent the first item and the parent which is the, the linear layout i'll do the same for the second text view by adding a margin top of 10 zp and and also here we add a margin top of 10 zp still so this creates a space between our items but our items remain vertically oriented each time we add a new item to a linear layout these items will come the next item will be the items will be vertically oriented so that is it so we can add we can add something else like um we can add something like to better organize items we can add something like the gravity the gravity helps us to say we want our items in our linear layout to be either move to the right of the layout or to the left or to the top or bottom if i say right if i choose right you will see that this item is, has moved to the right and this has remained the same why you may ask the question why right this is because uh, the first item this first text view has a width of wrap content so the width of this item will be the size of the text right yes but whereas the second item has a width of match parent you can see from here match parent so there's there's no way it may change it, there's no way it may change so this is it that's why we have this first item when applying the gravity of right it moves to right if i apply the gravity of center it will come to the center it will move everything to yes it moves everything to the center 
Now the center is both horizontal and vertical. It moves everything to the center. I can add a gravity of top and everything will move to the top as it was. By default, the gravity is top. You know. So, uh, uh, as you can see, there's many other things we can we can add to to the linearly. So, if we want to see how this linearly app behaves horizontally, we will just change the orientation from vertical to horizontal, and that is it. You know, you can't see the buttons anymore. That is because there's no more space. So, if I change it to horizontal, I will change the width. Make sure you change the width not to match parent but to wrap content i will change the width to wrap content and you see that's our button is back so you can see now issue this this is the this is the first item hello world the second item contain a text call second text view and the third item is a button you can see that these items are placed horizontally next to each other that is what uh, the linearly out can help you to achieve so uh and if you want to have if you want this uh item to be equally spaced right if you want this item to be equally spaced we will let me change the width of the button to wrap constant also that is it and if i want this item to be equally spaced horizontally i will use the property called weight sum i will use weight sum here since we have three items on our linear layout i will use a weight sum of three and you know, for each of these items, I will give it a weight of one. You see, this is a weight of one. It took this, and uh, uh, yes, still I will give it a weight of one. And for the button, I will also add it, give it a weight of one. You can see now each of the items occupies uh, each of our item occupies the same space on our screen. Just you can see from here each of these items occupy the same space that is the beauty of linear layout and you can decide if you want your text for example if you want your text to be uh come to the center the text view has a has a property called uh align text view has a property called uh uh text alignment the text view has a property called text alignment and you can use it and you can see align center and you can see your text will now be centered in your text view so no matter no matter the width of your text view your text will be centered in your text view so that is it for the linear layout as easy as that as it very easy to use and very easy to be great uis so if you have any questions drop it in the comment section below i'll be happy to assist you and to help you answer your questions and make and make you a better developer thank you and see you in the next video peace